Okay, good morning Year 10. So, after Lesson 1 where we looked at the components of fitness, we're now going to look at fitness testing. Yeah, so this is something that we would normally do in a practical lesson. We'd have a go at the fitness tests. Um, we would talk about them, talk about the different components. But obviously, because we're not at school, we're going to have to do this a little bit differently. So there is a YouTube channel of videos which go through a lot of the different BTEC fitness things. It's called Mr. B. And you can go on there and he goes through all of the BTEC sports stuff. So it could be the tests, the components, um, and things that we're going to be looking at later on. The video that we would like you to look at today is linked on here. So if you click on that YouTube link and go to 1 minute 15 on the video, we'd like you to make, you, make some notes. And what we'd like you to do is two things. So first off, explain two things that have got to be completed before any fitness test happens. So before I would do something like, I don't know, uh, like the bleep test, what two things do I need to do? So we're going to watch that video and you're going to make some notes on that. The second thing that you're going to do is you're going to explain the three things that must be considered for each fitness test. Now there are three key terms that you need to know and the definitions as well of what we must consider for each test so that we know that it is good. Now that's me saying it a lot simpler, more simply, but Mr. B on YouTube is going to talk about it in a lot more detail. Once you've done that, first thing that you'll do is take a screenshot of these two questions and submit it to us through class charts. The second thing that we'd like you to do is have a look at these three fitness tests. So first off, we need to identify what tests they are. Mr. B's videos will give you a little bit of an idea on that. So question one, what are those three fitness tests that you can see in the pictures? Yeah. Number two, working on what we've done in the previous task, do you think this will be these three tests are valid? So you need to think about the definitions that you got for validity and then tell me why you think it's valid or maybe not it's valid at all. Then we need to talk about reliability. Do you think this test will be reliable? Yes, no. You have to tell us why. And finally, you need to tell us whether you think the test is practical. Why is it practical? Is it not practical? So you're using the video from the last slide, you're using the definitions and um, the examples that you wrote down, and then you are going to answer these four questions. Once you've done that, take a screenshot or a photo and submit that through class charts, and that is the end of today's lesson.